This is Tom Dillon, the Lifetime Liberal, and today is Friday, January 20th, 2016. Uh, the title of this rant is China Seeks to Lead the World in Renewable Energy Now and in the Future. So, recent article, basically China has decided that they're going to cut 100 planned coal plants uh, it, right now in the very near future. We all know that China has an exceptional pollution problem uh, and uh, that uh, it is a matter of national urgency. It's a matter of national importance. But let's remember what China is doing. They want to control the world in terms of energy, renewable energy, in terms of not only the amount of capacity that they have, but in the, in, uh, let's just say, the manufacturing, the know-how, uh, the patents, etc., on all of that stuff. Right now, um, uh, China is, um, you know, the biggest investor in the world in renewable energy. Now let's be sure. Now not only for China and the United States, but in other countries, coal is not going to die. Oil is not going to die tomorrow. But the writing is on the wall. Things have been changing, and things have been changing to a great extent in the last five and ten years. You know, right now, uh, China is responsible for 40 percent of the increases in capacity in renewable energy. That was from data from 2015. Expect the same to be for 2016. And they have huge increases in the amount of investment that they're going to have in renewable energy. Now let's take that to the United States. Well, where Mr. Minority is president now, uh, and what is he doing? He talked about bringing coal back. Let's wake, make one thing clear that we knew then. It's not going to come back. And unfortunately, uh, those people who voted for him because they thought he was going to bring coal back, it's not going to happen because he doesn't have the capacity to do that. Now, uh, let's take one example of that is that well, with having 100 less uh, coal plants, China's not going to be in, in, uh, importing uh, nearly as much coal from the United States. It was a good export. May not be so in the future. I believe it was the city of Portland or the Portland, uh, 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 in Portland, Oregon, uh, that they decided that they were not going to have a huge transfer station there that would load up coal and send it over to China. They were going to make a huge investment. They're not going to do that. You know, and Mr. Minority and his ilk are basically betting their administration right now on tax cuts for fossil fuel companies uh, and <laughs> coal uh, and oil. And the question is, you know, is it possible for someone like Mr. Minority, in spite of what he said in the, in the campaign, to pivot and to be like China and to say, hey, listen, screw that. We need to look into the future. We need to accelerate in the future. Who is the biggest private user of solar energy in the United States? Um, Walmart. Why? Because they see the writing on the wall. The U.S. Navy wants huge investments in uh, 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 renewable energy. And, and Congress and the Republicans didn't want to do it because they want to continue to backslap their buddies in the oil industry. And let's make one thing perfectly clear. Remember that basically pollution uh, is basically an assault against this earth. It's an assault against poor people and minority people because those are the people who will be affected by it most. Uh, and it's basically designed to keep people who own those industries uh, in a lot of money so that they don't have to be responsible for the damage that they do. And that's, remember, those are our Christian white Republicans who are backing them up on this. Will Mr. Minority make that pivot into renewable energy? And I just mean make that pivot hog wild, is that we need to invest and invest heavily. We need to invest now, not tomorrow, now. You know, I don't think it's going to happen the writing's on the wall. There's huge investments all over the world. In fact, what was the one? Uh, uh, Morocco, Algeria, Tunisia, you know, making huge, huge investments in solar energy uh, over there. Uh, they don't have as much oil as the places over by Iran, Iraq, Saudi Arabia. They're making huge investments. The writing is on the wall. The United States needs to step up. Remember, Jimmy Carter had solar energy on the White House 
And when Reagan came in, that shit came down and the tax breaks to the oil companies went up. And just imagine where the United States would be today uh, in terms of their international trade deficit if we had done, had the courage to do what Jimmy Carter said we should do in the late 1970s. You know, we need to move on this and we need to move on this now.